Okay, so here we want to find the quotient, or we want to divide out the following expression. It's 8x to the 5th minus 2x to the 4th plus 4x to the 3rd minus 6x squared, all of that over 2x to the 2nd. Now this might look overwhelming because of all the terms, but really what's nice about this is that um, all you have to realize is that, okay, we're subtracting these two terms, adding these, and subtracting those. Well, every different term is all over 2x squared. So that means when I think about this, I have to realize each of the terms is really over 2x squared. Just like when we have fractions with the same denominator, we could have combined these terms and numerators and added them up, but they all would have been over the same denominator, right? They all would have been in the same terms. And that's really what's happening here right? So here, I mean, if you had, let's say, 1 fourth plus 3 fourths minus, I don't know, 2 fourths, you could solve this by saying, okay, 1 plus 3 minus 2, all of that over 4, which is, of course, 4 minus 2, which is 2 fourths or 1 half, but, but really you're concerned about this step right here. Notice we have a lot of terms here in the numerator, a 1, a 3, and a 2, all of it's over 4, and originally, that would have mean each of them was divided by 4. So we, we kind of have this step. We work backwards to this one to solve it. Because what's happening now is we divide each of these or simplify. 8 over 2 is 4. 2 over 2 is 1. 4 over 2 is 2. And 6 over 2 is 3. So now we have 4x to the 5th over x squared. This down here. Minus 1x to the 4th or x to the 4th over x squared plus 2x to the third over x squared minus 3x squared over x squared. Well, now what's nice is that we can use our laws of exponents. In each of these, we have bases of x, and we're dividing. So all we do now is subtract our exponents. So here is 4 times x to the third, 5 minus 2 is 3, minus x to the fourth over x squared is x squared, plus... 2x to the first minus 3. All right, x squared over x squared is x to the 0, or just 1. And that's our answer here, right? So again, it's just a matter of regrouping, dividing the numbers, the coefficients. That's what we did here. And then if you're dividing with the same bases, which we are in each of these cases, you just subtract the exponents. All right, hope this helped.